Kate Middleton is adding Royal Patron of the Rugby Football Union and Rugby Football League to her list of duties. The Duchess of Cambridge is taking over the role from her brother-in-law, Prince Harry. This move would mark the first one of Prince Harry's former patronages to be redistributed to another member of the royal family since the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped back from their roles as senior working royals. Kate showed off her rugby skills during a 2017 trip to Paris where she tossed a ball around with young players while wearing a dress and heels. The 40-year-old mom of three's new role also sets up a husband versus wife sports rivalry in the Cambridge household as Prince William is a patron of the Welsh Rugby Union. Pippa Middleton, Kate's younger sister, revealed to Vanity Fair in 2014 that rugby was loved by their entire family growing up. Rugby was a big thing in our family, and the focal point was international matches. We'd plan our weekends around the matches. If we lost, my dad would be in a state of despair for the rest of the afternoon, as if he'd actually lost the game himself. In addition to Prince Harry, Meghan Markle's royal patronages are expected to be redistributed throughout the royal family after the couple stepped down as working senior members of the royal family in January 2020. Prince Andrew's responsibilities within the royal family will also be redistributed after he was stripped by Queen Elizabeth of his royal patronages and military titles after he attempted to have a sexual assault lawsuit against him thrown out but was rejected. Access Hollywood recently spoke with DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston about how William and Kate are really stepping up to the plate within the royal family. Kate and William are really kind of stepping up to the plate as far as leading the monarchy. Now, William is not the next in line to the throne. His father, Prince Charles, is going to be the next monarch in the United Kingdom. However, William and Kate are very much already in that kind of waiting in the wings role where they are both very much aware that they will be on the throne probably, you know, not too far in the future. I think they both know that Prince Charles is not a young spring chicken. He's not the age that Elizabeth was when she became queen. And I don't think anyone is expecting Prince Charles to sit on the throne for decades and decades to come. He will absolutely take on the role because he has been waiting his entire life to become king. But I think that his reign in comparison with the Queen's will be very short lived. William and Kate are already not acting as though they are already the leaders of the monarchy, but they are taking on a huge amount of responsibility, not just in terms of public engagements, but also in terms of the way in which the monarchy is run. They're making small but very important changes, opening up the monarchy to a more modern point of view, not perhaps in a way that is noticeable every single day, but bit by bit, they have kind of helped the monarchy to evolve, to kind of embrace new traditions, and to kind of maintain the important heritage of the past while also kind of saying, okay, a few of the things that we used to do are seen as being very stuffy. They are very stuffy. Here are ways where we can kind of maintain the tradition behind these things without making it appear as though we are completely ignorant to what the rest of the world is doing and how they're living.